doggy, man, what y'all say, what y'all say. It's been one heck of a day down here in Florida. You may hear some rumbling and grumblers in the background. Is that rain about to come in? And I can see by the sky that it's going, it's going to be one of them rolling rains. It ain't going to stay long. But that's okay, though. Had a good game of poker. I got my butt hood out on the poker table today, but that's all right, though. Man, we started at 10 o'clock this morning, man. But it was a good day, man, with the fellas smoking cigars and talking trash and playing poker. Now I'm out here on my front. Garrett, rain about to come down, finish up this cigar. Gave me a nice little cigar over there. Man, I got a dirty brown in there when I call it good, but uh, yeah. I'll let my, yeah, it's been a good day today. Now I'm about to have me finish this cigar off and watch the rain come down a little and then go on the house party watch me some TV, man. I gotta go to Orlando tomorrow, see my little see my little Puerto Rican princess. I gotta go see her tomorrow. Shoot, man, I'm, we ain't gonna do nothing much. Just sit around, smoke cigars back in the other night, talk a little bit. Yeah, but look, I'm sitting out here, man, and I, you know, came across a little article. Y'all know me. I ain't doing no YouTube people time. I ain't been on YouTube. But I'm watching, reading this little article here about Michigan. It's time for old here to start talking about some big boy football. They talking about that little Pee Wee football they play out there in Colorado. Everybody hyping up Colorado, Colorado, but it was good now, but now it's almost time for the rubber to meet the road now. So I'm looking at my Wolverines now. And I'm looking at this, this article here on Will Johnson now. You know Will Johnson, that was the quarter, the cornerback for University of Michigan. That bad boy there, that Will Johnson boy. Better than, uh, y'all know how much I like Travis Hunter? Travis Hunter can't compare it to Will Johnson. No, he can't compare it to Will Johnson. Will Johnson is a real dog, but I understand Travis get all the hype because of who he played for and all that stuff like that. So he get the media. But Travis as a quarterback, he can't stack up against Will Johnson. You know, I know he made he made a little pretty little catch get TCU, but he ain't did that. They don't give me that crap about where he ain't play as many game as games as as Will Johnson. Well, who fault is that? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't Will Johnson's fault. Plus, they had they 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 they, they played bigger and better competition in the Big Ten last year. They didn't in that whatever they were Pac-12 they had last year. But let's let's look at this little article here on Will Johnson. See what over here say about it. First time reading it here, but it say Will Johnson dominated for Michigan football last season at 70 and 75 percent. Now that tells you that Will Johnson wasn't healthy all year long either, but he played though. Y'all just say Travis wasn't healthy and played. Well, Will Johnson wasn't healthy, but he still got out there and played at 70, 75%, and he dominated his position. Okay? Now, I know y'all, like I say, I like Travis, and this ain't no shine on boondocking on Travis, but y'all give these Colorado Buffalo players all this hype. Like, they the best damn players in the world. And statistically, they ain't that. Now, they are probably the most popular, okay, because Michigan don't tell all their business, all right? But let's take a look at Will Johnson right here. Michigan football star Will Johnson was an All-American last season, but wasn't even close to 100%. Ain't that something? He wasn't even close to 100%. Travis wasn't close to 100%. Travis can't compare to Will Johnson. <laughs> he ain't played a level of competition that Will played, like I tell y'all. But let's take a look at this right here. There was a crazy amount of hype for Will Johnson at the start of his, his uh, Michigan football career. The five-star recruit also didn't shy away from that. No, not Will. Johnson chose to wear number two. That's the same number worn by Charles Wilson, the greatest cornerback in college football. Oh, boy, and probably one of the greatest, one of the greatest in the NFL. Not the greatest in the NFL, but one of the greatest college football players. Matter of fact, Charles Woodson was the only college defensive player to win the Heisman Trophy. I don't think y'all Coach Prime did that. <laughs> he probably had a better grade average than your Coach Prime, too. I bet he had a better, better grade average than your, than your Coach Prime. <laughs> and Charles Woodson didn't have no Jerry Curl. I think he did have Jerry Curl one time, but he cut that mess out of his head. Okay, but Will Johnson, whoa, Charles Woodson number. Now, oh, that's a Michigan man, boy. Johnson chose to wear number two. That's the same number worn by Charles Woodson, the Michigan football legend who won the Heisman Trophy after the 1997 season. <laughs> hey, did y'all Coach Prime win a Heisman Trophy? 
<laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he probably didn't go to class. He went to some of the Pee Wee College. Ain't nobody ever went to uh, HBC. They went to FSU. Oh, man, get out of here, man. Michigan football has a long history of elite, uh, elite defensive backs. I don't think Colorado has that duty. <laughs> Who y'all got? Cordell Stewart? <laughs> Eric B. Emney? <laughs> Matt Machisky? <laughs> Woodson is easily the best to ever wear the wing helmet. And frankly, Johnson isn't far behind after notching seven interceptions in two seasons. He had four last last year, including one against Ohio State. Now, that's all that matters right there. <laughs> I don't give a damn about nothing else. He had an interception against Ohio State. Now, who was, who was Ohio State wide receiver? Well, let's go on and read this thing here, okay? And another in the national championship game. Johnson also scored his first career touchdown with a pick six against Minnesota. Johnson will always be remembered for his efforts against Marvin Harris Jr. Now that's a beast right there. <laughs> Marvin Harris is was a beast. Let me tell you, <laughs> boy. No, Will ain't shy away from that. That's a Michigan man. Michigan man, we don't shy away from anything. <laughs> oh boy, no, not no Michigan man. <laughs> okay, in the game he beat Harrison to the ball on a slant route and intercepted it. Ooh, on a slant route. Ooh, okay, all right. Which led to Michigan's first touchdown. Johnson also helped shut down Harrison in the second half of the game in 2022. Ooh, so you mean tell me he, he, he shut Harrison down twice? Ah, uh, I don't think Travis Hunter can do that. <laughs> uh, oh, man. We're going to see about Travis. Huh? We're going to see about Travis this year, right? We're going to see if it was just smoking mirrors and all. Everything in Colorado is hype, man. Everything is hype. <laughs> Until they win this year, everything is hype. That the let people tell y'all anything. They hype anything up and y'all jump on the bandwagon. And then all of a sudden, 19, when it don't pan out, then y'all want to make excuses. Like I'll tell people about Bronny James, right? I told y'all, Bronny James is going to be a good NBA player. <laughs> oh, all these, all these NBA professors. Oh, John, Bronny trash. He trash. He did. <laughs> he ain't no, Lonzo Ball is trash. <laughs> Kwa, Kwame Leonard, he trash. He won't even play. <laughs> Bronny is going to be a good player. Bronny has the body. Look at Bronny's jump shot. He's got a nice, smooth jump shot. He's got a nice little mid-range. Bronny is going to be okay, like old head said. Why, everybody, y'all boondocking, Bronny. Bronny. I'm telling, I told y'all, go ahead and look at my video. Bronny is going to be okay, okay? Bronny knows how to play the game. Bronny was just, he was just reluctant to shoot the ball. That's all it was. He was just looking to pass, okay? But now he got that out of his head. Bronny is scoring. He's going to look to score and he can score. I'm telling you, Bronny going to be a beast. Now, I'm saying that because I got a villain in my face. People down, I was born, they down Louis, I say, that boy, Courtney, this boy born with a veil over his face. He can see things. I like me clear. I can see things. I just ain't did, okay? I'm telling y'all. Like I'll tell you about this Will Johnson right here. Travis, man, Travis K. Man, look, <laughs> until Travis do something this year, till he play the whole season, Okay, like Will Johnson, if you got to play at 75%, okay, Will wasn't healthy, but Will also, until they win a national championship, okay, Colorado ain't nothing but hype, man. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm like 50 Cent, I'm not like Jay-Z, I remember when 50 Cent came out, JV said, I don't know why everybody's scared of the one who, scared of the one who got shot, you should be scared of the shooter. <laughs> Oh, you should be scared of the guy who shot me. Oh, finish it. And that's just like Colorado. All this hype against Colorado, it ain't did nothing. The game between the Wolverines won that matchup 45-23. As impressive as Johnson was last season, when he was on the field, he could be even better in 2024. The player who was projected by ESPN recently as the number three overall pick in the 2025 draft, NFL draft, told Elijah Zakat, I don't know what his name is, he must, I don't know what the, Elijah Hara Zugaga, I don't know, that must be one of the immigrants that just came across the border. <laughs> Not a sports reporter, I don't know. The Michigan insider at an event recently that he was only 775% healthy last season. Here's the full quote. I was probably going 70, 75% last year. I mean, I wasn't really able to run. If you really know my game, you'll be able to tell that's why I played the way I did last year because I didn't really trust myself running and things like that just because I wasn't really able to. Johnson is the top rated player in NA Sports College Football 25. And if Michigan football stars get close to 100% this season, that's frightening concept for opposing defenses. 
<laughs> is anything frightening about Travis Hunter? Does any wide receiver feel Travis Hunter? I know that boy Sanford don't. <laughs> I know that boy is Sanford. And matter of fact, we ain't, have anybody heard from that little fella in Sanford, that wide receiver who hugged Colorado out? He did the, he ran the same, he ran the same pattern on Colorado, old Travis four times. Now Travis supposed to have a high I, IQ, right? Is that what y'all see? Y'all y'all root about these Colorado players having high IQs, don't they? <laughs> Go no go right about if he put his foot here, he going that way, he put his foot that with his way, he going that way. I guess cool drivers only have a high IQ because he didn't understand that that guy was running the same pattern his full time. Or maybe his uh maybe his cornerback, maybe his his legendary cornerback coach who on the sideline didn't see that, that little fella foot was positioned to run the same slap pattern on them four times in a row. <laughs> Man, I'm just saying, that's y'all coach, ain't he? He's smart. He can see things, right? <laughs> he ain't see nothing. He can't see nothing. He can't coach. <laughs> so, this boy here, Will Johnson, went up, went, up, went up against Marvin Harris Jr. two years in a row <laughs> and hugged Marvin Harris Jr. I remember last year, everybody talking about Michigan, Ohio State. Oh, Marvin Harris Jr., he gonna have a big game. Man, Michigan shut him down. <laughs> Will Johnson at 75%. Shit. Marvin Harrison Jr. down. I bet Travis Hunter couldn't shut Marvin Harrison down. Travis Hunter couldn't shut that boy down from Sanford. <laughs> and you see what <laughs> y'all Oh, y'all, Colorado, y'all funny. Oh, oh, we got the best offensive line this year. Like no other team got some big bad offensive linemen. <laughs> Every day. Oh, Coach Prime got a new player. Oh, we gonna do this. Man, look, I'm telling y'all, <laughs> like I told people about Bronny James, everybody hurling Bronny James, I say, no, 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 no. That little fella can ball. Once he get in his head, once he do what he can do, that little fella can go, and he gonna be good, okay? I'm telling y'all. And let me tell you another thing about Bronny. I don't know why the hell y'all so mad because because his father put him in position. Don't y'all wish y'all had a daddy to put y'all in position? <laughs> just because just y'all daddy wasn't there or wasn't nowhere around or wasn't in y'all life or wasn't there to hype y'all up. What y'all get mad at? I like LeVar Ball. I, I was right with LeVar Ball. I, his boys just sorry. They can't play, but I admired what LeVar did. He hyped his kids up. They just gonna just like, just, <laughs> just like Dion hype his kids up, right? <laughs> we gonna see this year, okay? We gonna see this year and there ain't gonna be no excuses. I don't, I don't mind a father hyping their kids up. I think they should. They should. They should put their kids in position. I agree with Shiloh. But Shiloh said, well, maybe, maybe my daddy will do a LeBron James. <laughs> I agree with Shiloh. He should. But the kid gotta be able to back it up. That's all over here, said. And I'm gonna tell you, the Colorado boy, it's gonna be a good year this year. I ain't booing Dr. Colorado no more. This is probably be my last day I talk about Colorado until the season. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till the season, boy. Oh, boy, if y'all don't lose, boy, I'm gonna start cussing again. <laughs> boy, my boy, I told you that this boy Will Johnson was a bad boy. And y'all hype about it. Right here, he, she they telling y'all what Will Johnson did. It, it ain't no hype about what Will Johnson did. Okay? Boy, I tell you, Michigan fall camp details, plus more Wolverines news. Boy, look at my boy Sharon Moore. Ooh, did I tell y'all he was he was black? Did I mention Sharon Moore? <laughs> Sharon Moore was a black coach. Oh, Coach Prime, he liked to play the race game, huh? Every, now they now they talking about what that boy name? <laughs> that 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 Homer Simpson looking guy with glasses, Farnbird. Now, oh, Coach Prime goes at. <laughs> I ain't never seen a bunch of grown men. <laughs> Penis rider, man, in my life. Especially the man who ain't did nothing on the football field. Coaching wise. That's what I said. I said coaching wise. Y'all rooting for a coach that, <laughs> that can't even coach in the power five because he ain't experienced enough. Y'all rooting for that. Now you're talking about the Dallas Cowboys is making room. <laughs> Jerry Jones. Can you see Jerry Jones and Coach Prime as coach? Jerry is an alpha dog. Coach Prime, <laughs> Coach Prime ain't going to the Dallas Cowboys and run the Dallas Cowboys like he run Colorado Buffaloes. Like he runs CU. Jerry Jones ain't having that. Because the first time he loses a couple games, Jerry Jones gonna hurl that tail out, boy. I'm telling you. Oh, <laughs> and this is another thing. Shador in the NFL, okay? You know how big and bad Shador was last year? He wanna fight defensive players. He bad, he arrogant on the football field. When he gets into an NFL locker room with some big alpha dogs, where your daddy can't protect you, Shadur. Where that mouth you got, 
with that mouth you got, <laughs> gonna have to back up a whole lot of chicks. And Shallow, even if he on your team, he ain't big enough to deal with them and had to deal with them NFL players, okay? So that little bold and bodacious stuff that he doing now in college because he got his daddy on the sideline backing him, he ain't going to be able to do that in the NFL, especially if his daddy ain't coaching. Y'all know he can't play if his daddy don't coach. His daddy locked up his daddy in the hospital bed with his leg, <laughs> with toes missing, hood up in the air. Daddy, I need you back on the sideline, daddy. I can't, I can't. What you think going to happen in the NFL when his daddy ain't going to be on the sideline? When his dad ain't gonna be in the locker room. Is Coach Prime gonna come to every game in the NFL and walk him down the sideline and walk him back and give him a pat on the head and give him a prayer? Not in the NFL, baby. What's gonna happen with you do when you do gotta stand on his own in the locker room against some real alpha dogs? See, right now everybody cow town to him in the locker room now, don't they? Because that's that's your dude. That's coach that that that, that that's coach son. They cow down to him, right? But in the NFL, ain't nobody gonna cow down to him in the NFL. See that's what y'all don't look at. Y'all don't look at this kid, these kids that's pampered like him, quarterback son, protected all his life against everything as far as football-wise, when he get in the locker room with NFL players, how is he going to react then when he ain't got no control? When, when he's going, he going to be going up with some real alpha dogs who ain't going to be taking all that, that little slick talk out of his mouth that will go upside his head. What is Shadur going to do then? when he don't have the control that he have in Colorado or the control system around him in Colorado. He don't have to park, <laughs> he don't have to park with all the NFL players park. He can't park <laughs> with the stadium say no parking here. He can't do that. He got to park with all the other NFL players. I'm saying he's not going to have those privileges. What is your door going to be like then? Huh? What is she going to be like then? It's going to be interesting to see. When Shadur get to the NFL level and he have to deal with real alpha dogs in the locker room when he ain't got his daddy to protect him. <laughs> to back them big old boys, the big old men, grown men up off him, right? When he on the football field, let's let's let, let's see Shadur get in the NFL and with one of them big with them big backs hit his tail if he jump up and wanna fight him. <laughs> in the NFL. Uh, what I'm telling y'all is all this little stuff that these Colorado Buffalo players who's always do, who's being thrown in y'all face like they the greatest, they ain't never did nothing. They Like I keep telling y'all, Colorado was in last place last year. No excuse. They was in last place. And they did not play a harder schedule than the Univers University of Michigan. So don't give me that crap. Okay. Matter of fact, didn't, didn't you see Michigan, how Michigan hugged out Washington? <laughs> you see what Michigan did to Penix Jr. Jr., huh? Had Penix Jr. sitting on his tail <laughs> after the game, wondering what happened. <laughs> which way did they go? Which, which, which way did they go? Which way did they go? <laughs> he didn't know where the Wolverines were coming from. So that's all I always say. Y'all talk about it. I like to say, I like Travis. Travis ain't better than Will Johnson. <laughs> he ain't better than Will Johnson. That's 70, 70 75%. Ha, 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 ha.